welcome to our second show of Crown Beyond the Sparkle, which is based around the Miss Spirit organization. I'm Danielle Trumbull, Miss Spirit of the USA, your host, and I am very happy to say that I was able to have Amanda Daly, the director of the Miss Spirit of the USA and New York organizations, here with us today. Um, so first, I'm just going to ask Amanda a little bit about uh, what her vision was when she created the Miss Spirit system and how she went about doing that. Well, huh, where do I even begin? Um, I have been competing myself for about five years, maybe even six now, honestly. I stopped counting, but um, I competed in a variety of different pageant organizations, um, some good, some great experiences, some uh, not so good, some, some not so good experiences. And um, I wanted to take what I learned from all of the pageants that I competed in, and I wanted to turn it into my own kind of thing, what I thought would be the perfect pageant. So in April 2015, um, I created the Miss Spirit of New York pageant. That's what uh, was the very first thing that started Miss Spirit of New York, and that happened in July, um, actually August, August 1st, 2015, um, and then that branched out nationally. Uh, I had quite a few people after the New York pageant from different states reach out saying that they'd like to do something with me as well. So then in February 2016, I had the first Miss Spirit of the USA pageant that you won as the national title holder. Um, and then after those two, I just kept going and Miss Spirit of New York happened again this past July. And then uh, it just turned into the Miss Spirit organization to encompass Spirit of New York, Miss Spirit of the USA, as well as some unofficial uh, local pageants as well. So, yeah. And I remember <laughs> the very first Miss Spirit of New York pageant happened in a basement. It was a nice basement, <laughs> but it happened in a basement, and yeah. now it's so much bigger. So how does yeah. it feel to see that it's grown so much and that you were able to yeah, do that? Yeah, I mean, I had zero expectations going in. In April, I booked the venue. By June, I only had three sign-ups. So, you know, I booked a small area because I had no idea what <laughs> to expect. I thought, well, if I have to cancel the pageant because there's, you know, no one wants to sign up, then maybe I can just throw a party because I booked a little, you know, party right. room. Um, so the first pageant had 18 girls. Um, most were, all but three or four were from the Albany area. So it was a very local pageant mm -hmm. with local girls. And then with USA, there was about 24 girls um, from around the Northeast. And then at the Spirit of New York last year, there was about, uh, I think there were, unfortunately dropouts happened. So yeah. I'm, I think like 27-ish girls were there from the Spirit of New York this mm -hmm. past year. And then this upcoming July, I've combined Miss Spirit of New York and USA this year, um, partially just to kind of make my life easier. And I want the USA pageant to be at a time where people are able to come. Last year it was in February. That's during school, right. so it was kind of hard. But I'm combining it this year, and for both pageants combined, almost up to 70 people. So I am actually just blown away by how big we have gotten in such a short amount of time. Oh my, it's um, amazing. I, like I said, I had zero expectations going going in, and it's I really don't even have any words to put how I feel about mm -hmm. how large we've grown, how many people love the spirit mission, how many people want to be part of the sisterhood. It just, it just means a lot. And it's going to continue to grow. Um, it's it's just amazing to be a part of it and to, to watch everything that you do to make it grow and, and all the people that are rooting for you to succeed. Um, so you mentioned the mission of the Spirit Pageant. Can you go into detail about that? Um, well, at the end of the day, I just want everyone giving back to their communities. There's a lot of pageants out there. Um, there's a lot, you know, for girls of different ages, some, you know, only for Miss, some only for teens, some only for Misses. So I kind of pride myself in the fact that I cater to everyone. My first year, it was just juniors, teens, and Miss for New York. I just had three divisions. And then for USA, I branched out for older and married women. Um, and now this upcoming year, I've also branched out even younger. And then I've even split the teens into junior, teen, and teen. So I started with three, then had five. Now I have seven. So um, at the end of the day, you know, the mission is to just help everyone build confidence, 
be part of the sisterhood, um, gain positive experiences, gain friends, and at the end of the day, just have a really positive experience. And I think that so many of the girls do have that positive experience. There are so many that have made lifetime friendships, and it's just an amazing thing to be a part of. I can definitely say that mm -hmm. I've experienced all those positive things. Um, so the, base, the basic thing that we're trying to do with this show is to show you, the viewers, exactly what it, what is Beyond the Sparkle, Beyond the Crown. Uh, what is your ideal title holder, and how do they represent the spirit organization in the way that you envision? Um, I guess my ideal title holder is someone who is ready to serve their community. We are a community-based pageant. Um, it's someone who's not just looking to compete just to add another crown to their crown collection. Um, so I'm looking for someone who actually has the heart and the spirit, no pun intended, um, to you know get out there, make a difference in their community. They're passionate about a certain platform or just service in general. They're ready to you know support their sister queens and everything. And you know, I have to say that for this upcoming year especially, I've never had such an amazing group of ladies and title holders. So the judges are going to have a very, very difficult decision because any state or local girl that's competing this summer is so driven is so into their community, so into the sisterhood that, you know, I, they're going to have a tough decision picking out of all of the girls, especially this year, that are competing. Absolutely. Um, so I just have one more question for you. If somebody wanted to compete and they're watching this right now, uh, what would you tell them? Is there an email they can contact you on, a phone number? Mm -hmm. So um, our email is misspiritorg at gmail.com. And then we also have a few um, Facebook pages. The New York page is facebook.com slash capital region pageant. And if you uh, send an email or send a message through Facebook, um, I'm usually very good at replying right away, um, but we are actually almost full. I have to have a have to have a limit, or else the pageant will be six hours long, and no one likes a six hour long pageant. So <laughs> we've gotten close before, though. Oh, so I unfortunately have to have a limit. The spaces are almost closed, um, but if you are interested, we are always welcoming of anyone who would like to be in the the pageant sisterhood. You know, this pageant doesn't have any specifications about you know, your weight or your height or anything like that. We are, you know, just a big sisterhood all around. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. I hope that our viewers were able to learn a little more about the Miss Spirit organization today. And thank you for joining us for the second show in Crown Beyond the Sparkle.